So, if you're an Xbox fan, on the surface, this might seem like bad news, but I feel like this is actually very good news. I mean, I, I'm just going to be honest about it. I honestly just feel that this should help Microsoft understand that, you know, PlayStation isn't going to ever play nice with them. PlayStation isn't going to give Xbox games. They're not going to give up their first-party games and put them on Xbox. It, it doesn't really matter what a lot of these like kind of some of the deluded xbox fans think right like there is this group of xbox fans that just swear up and down that sony is going to uh put their games on xbox and that you know everything's changing because you hear this a lot right people go oh everything's changing you know and then you look around and things aren't really changing that much i mean you have playstation and microsoft putting games on pc which is different from a console because you always have people like me who would never play games on a pc you know i'm a plug and play guy like the consoles the games are specifically tailored for the consoles uh you know there's no issues i just like it you know i don't want to play against pc multiplayer uh you know there's there's a million and one reasons but overall you know and, and sony they wait you know a year or two whatever so there is some definite uh advantages to having their platform uh first and foremost but again microsoft has been playing extremely nice with sony trying to get everything kind of up to snuff or whatever and you know everybody is like okay well i can remember a lot of people complaining xbox fans complaining because at gamescom they announced their big one their big announcement was one more thing indiana jones is coming to playstation 5 right like that's not how you do it because somebody's never going to play nice uh but i want to get into it because i think you guys might actually understand my reasoning behind this being good news for xbox what's up everybody crap gamer here with crap gamer reviews back with another video thank you so much for checking it out i appreciate it please like share subscribe i would appreciate that as well i do daily gaming content so make sure you guys check it out and and all that kind of good stuff and you know again i try to be fun yet informative and just so you guys know you know that's that's what i try to do uh with that being said uh so yeah this is this is by uh this this to me anyway is something that realistically uh makes sense for it not to happen look according to this hell divers 2 is definitely not coming to xbox which we should have known right but there's good news to that, and I'll get to that. So, for months now, there were rumors about an Xbox version of Helldivers 2 that they've been circulating. They were amplified by an insider during an April episode of the podcast. Uh, they said that the sources were saying very early talks were happening between PlayStation and Xbox about Helldivers 2. While PlayStation's Jim Ryan had always been opposed to working with Xbox, they contentioned that the new uh, chairman, Hiroki Totoki, might have been more open to the possibility. However, it seems that those discussions didn't pan out. In an update on the podcast, he said, last I heard, it's not happening. The update has drawn a lot of jeers from PlayStation fans, but it's possible the initial sources were correct. After all, Xbox boss Phil Spencer touched on the possibility himself earlier in the year. Speaking in February, Spencer argued that, quote, uh, the case for Helldivers 2 saying he's not exactly sure who helps in the industry by it not being on Xbox. So given those comments, it seems possible that Spencer tried to make it happen. After all, he has put in great efforts to get past certain games on Xbox, including Final Fantasy. So it's not inconceivable that Xbox reached out to PlayStation to see about getting Helldivers 2 on the platform, but discussions didn't uh, achieve their desired results. Now listen... This is the thing, right? Because I keep telling people that, you know, as much as people think things have changed, doesn't necessarily mean that they have changed, you know? And that honestly is kind of my point of contention with this the entire time. So why is this good? Well, I can be honest. I can be completely honest as to about why it's good. And that is the fact that, you know, we are starting to see maybe stuff like this will get Xbox off their duff a little bit and, and realize that, hey, you need exclusive games, you know? And, you, you know, you have to have that, you know? I, I honestly think that it's one of those things where, uh, you know, Microsoft has to realize that, that realistically you have to offer more for your gamers and you have to have something that really changes um, how they perceive your platform. The fact that Microsoft really kind of lacks those big things means that, you know, you have to give what few you do get to the fans. And that's, I think, where Microsoft has failed quite a bit. So uh, Xbox had shown willingness to bring its games over to PlayStation, including Hi-Fi Rush, Sea of Thieves, Pentiment, Grounded, Indiana Jones, and The Great Circle, Doom, 
Um, however, PlayStation has largely avoided doing this, even when it might make the, the audience kind of grow with an online game like Helldivers 2. Now, PlayStation has made MLB The Show available on Xbox, but the exception is due to Sony's contractual obligations with Major League Baseball. When other opportunities have arisen, PlayStation has avoided working with Xbox. Curiously, that hasn't prevented similar deals with Nintendo. Uh, this month, PlayStation will be releasing LEGO Horizon Adventures on the Switch, but that game won't be coming to Xbox. So I, I was telling people this for the longest time, right? Like, PlayStation is not going to put their games on Xbox, right? They would. They still pay actively to keep games on off of xbox right so why would they ever put their own stuff on xbox like it really doesn't matter uh make make much sense to me you know honestly it's it's just really something that uh kind of boggles my mind uh but, but at the end of the day i feel like uh we sort of see a situation where microsoft could be learning a little bit more or you know at least trying to uh get some things moving in the right direction uh but with that you know, you know, Microsoft has to do better. They have to do a better job at making sure that gamers have things that they want. And if Microsoft enables exclusive games, I think that's going to help them tremendously. That's not saying, you know, I'm not asking them to make Call of Duty exclusive. That would be silly. But, you know, do what they promise to do. And, and you know, make sure that you, that you have a very clear plan to get xbox consoles some games that are exclusive like that's basically all it comes down to you know you have to have that ready to go um some xbox fans had hoped that the b bad blood between xbox and playstation might have been resolved but it seems like it's definitely not the case at the end of the day playstation clearly sees xbox as some sort of a rival while xbox is looking to expand the reach of its first party games by bringing them to other platforms um there is no such desire on playstation's part helldivers 2 has been a big hit on ps5 and pc but fans on xbox are going to have to find something else to play so again um this makes total sense uh it, it really never made sense for that to come to xbox you know i mean I've, I've done some videos about it when there were the rumors that came up and i was just thinking like you know you know and, and i've mentioned this for whatever reason like phil spencer has been you know like who does that benefit well phil it benefits playstation right because they sold playstations <laughs> and when you sell playstations you have more people to sell software to you have more people to sell your subscriptions to right it's like i mean it, is it really that hard or a difficult thing to understand like I, I get it like some people really like phil but who does it benefit it benefits them just like if you had exclusives phil it would benefit microsoft because you would be able to sell more people games more microtransactions more everything so yeah like that's who it benefits if you want to play this game you got to buy a a playstation you know or, or play it on pc but if you're a console gamer your only option is to buy a playstation and so um you know that's basically what they're doing so yeah again but here's my hope and why i, I once again i'll kind of reiterate why i think this is good um i really think that this means that microsoft will maybe rethink bringing all their games and playing nice to uh you know sony and things like that because you know if you have a situation like like we have right now sony's not gonna ever play nice with with microsoft like no matter what people think they're not gonna do it so why continually play nice with sony i can understand why some of the you know like the call of duty it's the you know the overwatches what have you are gonna be on playstation but damn you know the, if you're ever thinking about putting Halos and Gears and Forza and, you know, Perfect Dark and Fable, if you ever thought about putting those on PlayStation, like, stop the thought process. Like, there, none of those games should ever go on PlayStation because no matter how badly, you know, Microsoft wants everybody to believe that gaming is changing, it's not really changing the, that much. You know, it's not changing to where... I can play a Nintendo game on an Xbox or play, you know what I mean? Or play a PlayStation game on Xbox. It's not going to happen, you know? So hopefully you guys understand where I'm coming from with that. Uh, let me know what you guys think, though, in the comments below. Uh, you know, would you have wanted to play Helldivers 2 on Xbox? You know, it's like one of those things. It doesn't really matter to me. Uh, you know, I, I really think that it, it kind of comes down to all these companies need uh, to have uh, something that draws people specifically to their platform. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Rack them up, fact them up, 
Crap Gamer I'm up, and I'll catch you next time. Crap Gamer, out!